everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And I happen to be in my happy place. I know y'all have not seen this in a long time. As a matter of fact, y'all haven't seen me in a minute, but it's crazy how you can not record a video for like a week or a week and a half or something like that. And it, in the YouTube world, it totally feels like you've been gone like a year. So it's just awkward. But anyway, I'm actually gonna do a review on this NARS foundation because I told you guys I was gonna do one. So I showcased this product in a get ready with me video. So that was probably like a a month ago about a month ago hey no i'm just kidding but i did that about a month ago and i've been rocking it quite a bit if you follow me on snapchat and everywhere else then you already know that and i actually have an opinion you guys so this is going to be like a twofer because i'm also going to give you my no shadow eyeshadow look because when i do it on snap people are like wait a minute you look like you have eyeshadow on and i don't really have eyeshadow on no eyeshadow very very light all that good stuff well not light on the foundation because y'all know i'm generous with foundation right now, this video is also going to be an experiment. It's more so for me, but I thought I would share it with you guys because, you know, y'all my fan bam. But one thing I noticed about this foundation over the last month that I've been using it is it has somewhat of an olive tone to it. I don't think it's coming up on camera and I'm actually looking at my monitor. I don't think you guys can see it, but maybe you will see it, you know, at the end of this video or maybe when I'm putting it on. But I didn't even notice it till like the end of the day. And I told you guys that I have like this makeup class. I work for this talent agency and I've been teaching makeup classes and I saw myself in the big mirror at like the very end of the day of me rocking this foundation and I looked really flat. Now I contoured and I did all that stuff and I was like, hold up. So what I had been doing was mixing it with this foundation anyway, which is the Clinique Super Balance Silk Makeup. And I've been mixing it with this because this is a little more matte and this has a little bit of a glow to it. So I've been mixing them together. And as you can see, this one is more golden than this one. So I'm gonna do one side of my face with the NARS Sheer Glow all by itself because I didn't even give y'all the name. Yeah, NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And this is in the color Macau. And this Clinique foundation is in the color 18 and I already have a review video on this all by itself love it matter of fact it's probably all the way down here now like oh my goodness so I'm gonna do one side of my face with this one and one side of my face with these mixed together and we're gonna see if we can tell the difference or if I'm just tripping okay I've already done my brows and what I did use is the new makeup forever brow pencil and this is in the number 40 I love this and then I've been using the brow gel over it and this is in the number 35 it's a little bit lighter than my brows but I like how it gives me that natural look so let me show you what it looks like I talked about this in the video I did I think I did a video with mini me we did lip swatches and I think I showed you guys a little bit too it's a live video so it's like 40 minutes but you know hey if you're looking for something to do on tonight Night or any other day grab you some popcorn or whatever and check out the video but this is what it looks like you guys it's a little lighter like I said but it kind of gives it that natural feel after I like pencil it in so I've been really liking it it's been good how about that so what we're gonna do first for my no shadow eyeshadow is I'm gonna use this concealer this is by Sephora this is their Dolce de Leche concealer which oh my gosh I think I'm almost out of it but good thing it's only like 14 bucks or something. This is like my second one and I'm in need of another one. But whenever I do my makeup, whether I'm doing eyeshadow or not, I always use this to mute out the discoloration on my lid. So while I'm putting this on, I will tell you guys that this NARS foundation, when I was in the store, I think I got it from Sephora. When I was in there, I swatched a few of them. I swatched different shades that were close to my skin tone and that was the very closest. So, you know, once I use this up, I don't know if I'm going to buy it again unless I just continue mixing it with this one, which is an easy mix. It's not like, you know, I have to be very cautious about it. It's kind of like, I don't know, I just put a dib a dab and then I'm good. I don't really have to measure it out because I'm definitely going to use it up. I'm not going to take it back because I do like it. I just noticed that it's a little off. All right. So once I blend that in, I just kind of pat it to make sure it is distributed evenly and to take off any wetness before I go in with my powder. And then I use my Black Radiance powder, which is in the shade Golden Cashews. And I just put that over my lid, y'all. And this is legit like my eyeshadow look. This is all I do. I just place that on top. 
So after I put this powder on, I just pop on some mascara and pop on some lashes. And I have been trying some new lashes that I've been loving. Shout out to Makeup Baladwina because she hit me to these lashes and they're named after many, many me. So hashtag winning, hashtag score. So these are the lashes, y'all. I know they look a little dramatic, but they are so cute. Like unlike my Misha's, they go like they flare up a little bit. These don't really flare. They just kind of pop out at you, but they're really, really cute. And they give my eye shape like this whole different look. So I've really been loving it but they're called Kayla. I do have a link um, on Amazon. I got three of them for $21 and then on eBay I found three of them for $13.99. So I will put both links for you in the description box just in case you're an Amazon versus eBay shopper or if you don't care they're both down there for you. However they may be in your local beauty supply so take a look see they're not in mine so I had to go online to get them but um, I love the fact that they have a case so when I'm done I can just pop them back in the case and this is probably going to be like my fourth or fifth time rocking them. No lie. Love these lashes. So you see how that adds a little bit of flavor? So I'm going to go into this primer. This is a Lancome primer. I just started using it. I really do like it. It's It has like a gel consistency, but it's not too, it doesn't have too much of like a silicone feel. And y'all know, if y'all been following me for any length of time, I do not like stuff that has that super slippery feel because then when I go to put the rest of my makeup on, it's kind of annoying. And I also have a bag of stuff. I'm trying to see if it's in frame, but I have a bag of stuff from Lancome as you can see I talked about this in our live video as well so I'm planning on doing a one brand tutorial but we'll see if I can pull that off with the stuff that I have in here so stay tuned for that because if it's not a one brand it'll be like 99 point I don't know two percent and I always do primers when I do reviews because that is truthfully how I rock my foundation I know people like they say pat it in but I'm just a rubber y'all for you patters out there, let's pat, pat, pat. So I'm also gonna apply a corrector because that is legit how I rock foundations. Like if I'm gonna rock a foundation, I'm gonna go hard or go home. I am gonna use this concealer by BH Cosmetics. I actually have a video when they first launched and I really like it, so I've been rocking it. However, the corrector is way, way orange. It's called peach, but it's really orange. So I've been using the shade 121 Dark. Because it has a little bit of orange in it already, it acts as a corrector. I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation. I have a little spot right there and just a little bit of darkness under my eye. So we're just gonna fix that a little bit. Per the use, per the use. Dang, I didn't mean to go all on my nose right here. I'm gonna tell y'all this. I'm gonna give y'all a little background on this foundation. It's been around for a very, very long time, but I am just now trying it because to be honest, the name Sheer Glow had me a little scared and I was not trying to be sheer because I like full coverage and I was not trying to have a glow because y'all know I don't really like that luminous dewy situation. I think I misunderstood the name Sheer Glow. Now that I've come into the knowledge, no, I'm just kidding, but I do believe now that it stands for sheer glow as in it gives you a sheer glow. It makes you look um, like you have natural youthful skin, a youthful glow if you will. And so I like it, but I must admit, I still do like mixing it a little bit with like a matte foundation. But another thing I learned about this foundation as well is that you only need a little bit. You do not need a lot because the more you put on, I feel like the more of a glow you'll get. And I showed y'all like in my get ready with me, I went in with a lot. It does not take all that with this foundation. You get one fluid ounce of this foundation. It lasts for, I'm trying to read it, I believe it's like 24 months. And again, my shade is Macau. It is medium dark four. And so I am gonna go on one side of my face with that. And unfortunately, I did not know you had to buy a pump to go with this foundation. Now this stuff was like 40 something bucks. I thought it would totally come with the pump. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can tell that it's more neutral than I would like for it to be. And listen, I hope that there's not much of a difference because listen, if there is, I'm gonna be talking to people like this all day. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. I don't want it to be, I don't wanna be looking crazy, but I'm gonna set both sides the very same. Gosh, I hope nobody can tell the difference for real. I just feel like it makes me look kind of gray at the end of the day. You see how this one is more golden right here? That's the Clinique. And this one right here, it's more, it has more of a green tone to it. It's 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 more olivey if that makes sense. Olivey is not a word. I just totally made it up, okay? It just brings life to it. This is, it's gonna make a difference. Like you don't wanna be somewhere and then you notice that you're getting a little gray or, you know, a little like, um I don't know, ashy or what, not necessarily ashy, kind of like a corpse. I hate to say it that way, but it's just really gray. It's like there's no life to it at the end of the day, I feel like. 
I'm like, what happened? So let's take another beauty blender. This is their purple beauty blender that they came out with like a couple years ago. I just busted it out, y'all. It's their, um, it was, I think it was called Orchid or something. I don't remember. But anyway, let's blend that in. Ain't nothing like a brand new beauty blender. So this is the NARS all by itself in Macau. And then this is it mixed with Clinique. Can you guys tell the difference yet? I feel like this side has more life to it. I feel like this side is a little dull. That's the word. It's a little dull and this one has more life, but we're gonna check in like at the very end of the day and we're gonna see, cause I didn't notice that it did that until the very end of the day. But in the meantime, and in between time, let's put this concealer on girl. So I'm gonna set everything with my Laura Mercier medium deep powder. Y'all, I talked about this in my faves. I totally did. Cause I've been loving this and I've been setting my face with this ever since I got it. Like I have not been using my BH, but I love my BH. And I just put it like on a flat surface and dip my E1 by Morphe brush in there. And then I just set it all over. Set it and forget it. So here they are together. Oh, I forgot earrings, but anyway, there you go. So I don't know if you can tell a difference like head on. And I've never rocked this foundation without a setting spray. So I don't know how it's gonna work. So if I do have to blot, I will try to get on my phone and do a little recording or something like that and insert the clip because I'm not taking my big camera with me on today. According to NARS website, it has 19 different shades in this foundation or they carry 19 different shades in this foundation. And the product story, as they call it, it says it's a glowing natural radiant finish foundation with sheer and buildable coverage that immaculately evens the skin tone. It says replete with skincare benefits and the NARS complexion brightening formula. It leaves skin hydrated, more luminous, softer, and smoother. Wait a minute though. Use daily sheer glow foundation improves the skin's brightness and texture. I did not know that. That's why I love doing these reviews for y'all because I learned so much. But it says it's for normal, normal to dry, and dry skin types. You see what I'm saying? I was a little scared. So it doesn't say anything about oily skin, but I do have combo skin and it seems to work well when I use a primer as well as a setting spray. And there you go. There you have it. But you guys, I'm afraid I'm gonna take one of these things here. They're the best blotting papers, but I'm gonna blot my nose. I have to. Oh, so much better. I had to do it. Well, all right. I am back just like I said I would be, but there we go. I don't know if you guys can see a difference. Okay, this is the NARS side by itself and this is my little concoction situation. But I'm gonna tell y'all, from here on out, I still will be mixing the two because I just I just feel like it just has more life, I do. But anyway, so here's close up and dang, look at the tip of my nose. This really shows you everything. But I'm pretty happy about my under eyes. You guys see how much better they're doing? You see how that's a little more golden? And then this one is just a little more flat, not in the highlight area. But right here, do y'all see that? Like, I hope you guys can see. Like, you guys, don't think I'm tripping. Seriously, for real. There's there's a difference here. But we are about to blot and we are about to finish this video. So, let go. The foundation, I absolutely love the foundation. It is super duper flawless. It looks great. The only downfall that there is, like I told y'all, is I feel a little bit gray or a little bit flat or a little bit dull when I wear it all by itself. It's just something about it. But when I mix it with the Clinique, like, I like it so much more. I would say that it is medium to full coverage only because you can build it but you can keep it light if you want to have it light like I love that about that foundation now that's my final thoughts on it love it I say that you should totally try it if you want to you know what I mean it does work on combination skin now we are in the beginning of spring so I don't know how it holds up in the summertime I have not rocked it in summer yet and I've only had it for about a month. So, so far, so good. And I just wanna tell y'all that I love y'all. I appreciate all of the support that you have given me and my channel. It is just, uh, it's unbelievable. I love you guys so much. And you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And you know what we say over here, I will see you sooner than you think, or maybe a little bit later, but I'll try to make it sooner. Bye. <laughs> Tiki beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Tiki beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Tiki beauty. Yeah, Tiki beauty.